Senate to help workers who will be affected by the Tyson plant closure in Perry. More than 1,000 workers are going to be losing their jobs this summer. State Capitol reporter Connor Hendricks reports on Senate Democrats who say changes to Iowa's unemployment eligibility is going to make it harder to support affected employees. Of the nearly 1,300 employees receiving a pink slip in June, 729 of them live in Perry City limits. With a population around 8,000, State Senator Sarah Trone Garriott of Dallas County says the plant's closure is going to impact more than just the affected employees. It's not just 729 people who are impacted, it's spouses who also work and contribute to that community, it's children who attend the Perry schools. And it's every single one of their neighbors. Trone Garriott says the layoffs will also hurt Perry schools who are still reeling from a school shooting in January that killed a principal and a student. The sudden and significant drop in the number of students attending Perry schools would mean budget cuts and staff cuts. And that will hurt every single Perry student. Because school funding is per student and the budget guarantee is not much comfort in this situation because it only helps them maintain funding for a year if they raise property taxes. In 2022, lawmakers cut the length of unemployment benefits for plant workers from 39 weeks to 26. Senate Minority Leader Pam Yoakum says they're calling on Senate Republicans to reverse course. That we would return unemployment benefits for workers facing a plant closure to the full 39 weeks. It's just simply the right thing to do. And we're calling on Republican leaders in the Senate to introduce a leadership bill to make it happen. At this point in the session, only the majority floor leader can introduce a bill. When speaking with reporters Thursday, Senate Majority Leader Jack Whitver says he didn't have an opinion on the plan yet as he didn't have time to read the proposal. In a statement, State Senator Jason Schultz says the changes to unemployment policy are working. He says the amount of people on unemployment has been halved, as has the amount of time it takes for someone to find a new job. He adds that with 13,000 job openings in central Iowa, he's optimistic that everyone impacted will find a new opportunity. In Des Moines, I'm Connor Hendricks reporting.